Given these two equations, a plus 1 times b plus 1 times a plus b equals 2022 and a cubed plus b cubed equals 1933, the goal is to find the sum of a and b. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given these two equations, the goal is to find the sum of A and B. Now, one way to answer this is to get the value of A and get the value of B, then get their sum. And the other solution is to get exactly A plus B. So this is our solution to our question. So first, let's get the second equation because recall we have an identity for the sum of two cubes. If we have x cubed plus y cubed, we can factor this out nicely as x plus y multiplied by x plus y squared minus 3 times x times y. So this a cubed plus b cubed, we can factor this out nicely as a plus b multiplied by a plus b squared minus 3 times ab. Now, let's replace this second equation by its equivalent like this. And now let's get the first equation. And what we're going to do is to multiply these two factors, a plus 1 times b plus 1. And if we do that, we get a b plus a plus b plus 1. Now, let's replace again the first equation by its equivalent. And as you can see, we have here sum of a and b and product of a and b. So what we're going to do here is to let s be the sum of a and b and p for the product of a and b. So our equations becomes p plus s plus 1. This is the product plus the sum plus 1 times the sum equals 2022. And the second equation becomes we have here the sum multiplied by the sum squared minus 3 times the product equals 1,933. And what we're going to do is to focus on these two results. Now, let's focus on this and let's distribute this s to p plus s plus 1. So we have s squared plus ps plus s equals 2022. On the other hand, the second equation becomes s cubed minus 3ps equals 1933. Now, as you can see, to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to eliminate all unnecessary variable. And that variable is simply equivalent to p. So we need to eliminate this variable p. And for us to eliminate this variable p, what we're going to do is to multiply the first equation by 3 because we have here p times s. If we multiply this by 3, we have 3s squared plus 3ps plus 3s equals 6066. Now let's focus on these two equations. And for us to eliminate this variable p, what we're going to do is to add these two equations because we have now negative 3ps and positive 3ps. This is just 0. So if we add these two equations, we have s cubed plus 3s squared plus 3s equals 7,999. Now let's focus on this result. And the good thing is this equation is contain s only or variable s only. And this variable s is equivalent to a plus b, which is what we want to find. So after getting the value of s, then we're done. All right. Now, the question is how do we get the value of this variable s? So what we're going to do is to add 1 on both sides. So 7,999 plus 1 simply equal to 8,000. And these four terms, this is very nice because we can factor this out nicely as s plus 1 raised to the power of 3 or multiply s plus 1 3 times because those numerical coefficients 1, 3, 3, 1 is one of the layers of the Pascal's triangle. All right. Now, to find the value of s, what we're going to do is to focus on this equation and let's get the cube root on both sides. And if we do that, we get s plus 1 equals 20. Now, to get the value of s, subtract 1 on both sides and we get that s equals 19. And this s is technically the value of a plus b. Therefore, our answer to this question 
given these two equations, a plus 1 times b plus 1 times a plus b equals 2022 and a plus b cubed equals 1833, then the numerical value of a plus b simply equivalent to 19. And as always, we are done.